Hey guys, welcome to my home. Welcome back to my channel guys. So if you guys have been following me for a while, you have seen me make over every single room in my house. Like over the past year, we've done the entryway, the living room, kitchen, bathroom, master bedroom, office, DIY studio, and even some closets. So you, if you guys have been along on this journey for me, thank you so much for watching and listening to me try and figure out exactly what I wanted my style in this home to particularly be and have it all come to life. You guys were asking for a home tour and it's always been the plan to give you a complete home tour of every room, even though you've already seen me make over every room. Today is that day and not just a home tour, but I'm going to be breaking down what each area or each room in my house actually cost me to decorate. Now, these will just be decor. It's not gonna be like the TVs or the makeup that I have in the drawer or my clothes, but it'll be everything that it took to decorate. So furniture, little small decor items. Now I have lived in Los Angeles for 12 years. Some of the furniture that I've bought, I've had pretty much since the beginning. So it's been an investment over time. So I think personally that I've done my house on as much of a budget as I possibly can. You guys know that I love to thrift, I love to DIY things on a budget, but I also value quality furniture. So some of these pieces are gonna be a lot, but some aren't and it's just creating a home that I absolutely love. But I wanna thank you guys so much right now for our family is about to hit 300,000 subscribers. I'm so grateful, I cannot believe that we've grown so fast and our DIY family has grown so fast. So in honor of hitting 300,000 subscribers, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway at the end of this video. So stay tuned, keep watching, and let's start the home tour. So currently I'm standing in my entryway. And this is one of the more recent room makeovers that we actually did. And I had a three part series to this where I made some DIYs, found some things at the flea market to go in this space, and then kind of finally put it all together. A lot of you guys were asking me like, oh, well, it's not a functional space. Like you don't have a coat rack or you don't have like things like that. But we actually have an entire coat closet. So I didn't need a coat rack in here. And for me, this space is completely functional for us. We have a basket for Romeo's shoes, which is a huge plus. And we have the bench to put on our shoes like when we come in and out and I find myself sitting on it a lot. And I find unique treasures all the time at the flea markets and thrift stores and wherever and I wanted a place to display them and I know that it's a dust collector but I don't care I dust it and it's all of the things that I have just collected and I absolutely love from like books and baskets and vases you guys you know I love pottery books that actually interest me and yes I have read some of them they're not just for pretty but they are pretty in my last video we did some updates to the house because I wanted some final touches in that I was missing some things so we did some DIYs for the house and I actually actually stained this ladder and replaced the copper one that I had originally here and I like it so much better. I just like that it's a little more raw and um, not so of that like pinky copper tone. And before I tell you any of the costs, comment down below which room in my house you actually think is going to cost the most. I was and I wasn't surprised. Curious to see what you guys think. So comment right now which one. Is it the entryway, living room, kitchen, bathroom? office or bedroom. So the cost to redo this entryway with all of the decor was $486. And the largest purchase in here was the bookshelf that I got from CB2. It was 186. So that was the, the big purchase. And I'll kind of tell you the big purchases throughout the house. Okay. So moving right along the living room and it kind of acts as a giant room. Some of these pieces I have had for five to six years. So that's our couch, our coffee table, and the furry chair in the corner. I've had for quite a long time. We've kind of moved it from like three apartments, I think. It may or may not have been ideal in all of those apartments, but when you rent a home, especially in Los Angeles where you're moving around a lot, it's kind of unrealistic to keep buying new furniture every time. So I feel like we will buy permanent furniture when we own a home and it fits the space. So in the living room, you're gonna see lots of DIYs that we did too, like all of the pillows 
and updates that we've done like the rug and thrifted items. There's a combination of store-bought things, thrift finds, flea market finds, and DIYs in every room in my house. Legit, every, every single room is like a, a collection of all of the things that I've come up with. <laughs> Oh, you guys love the DIY wall art that we did in here with the yarn and half circle placemats that we made. You guys make them all the time and share them on Instagram. I love seeing what you guys create. So definitely keep sharing the projects with me. I absolutely love seeing them. So this living room was actually a little difficult to design because you can see that there's doors along this entire wall. Door to the hallway, back to the bedrooms and the bathroom, door to the kitchen or open opening to the kitchen, and then a closet. No furniture can go on this wall. So everything has to be kind of against the windows. So our couch has this chase on the right side. Um, so it actually worked in our favor that we had this couch because it does, I think, work with the space even though the landlord won't let me mount the TV. We make it make do, it is secure. Just kind of works the way that we've kind of like set up the living room, we're able to watch the TV, we're able to like move from the front door through the room to the other parts of the house. So it ended up working fine. It was kind of like the only option for us. So the cost of the decor to redo and make over my living room was $1,710. And that's actually not as much as I thought it was going to be. So the big purchases in here are my couch and my coffee table. So the couch we actually got on like super sale deal day clearance at a place called Urban Home that's no longer open anymore, but it was like a crazy sale. We got it for $400 and it's huge and so comfortable. It's like corduroy and like soft and like the seats are really deep set. And the coffee table was from West Elm. So it was a larger scale purchase and it was also 400. So those two were our big purchases in here. Okay, so next up is the kitchen, which might be uh, they were all really good makeovers, but it's one of my favorites. I loved making over this kitchen. Just something about the color palette or the way that kind of everything came together. I absolutely love it. So we did a lot in here. Everything was renter friendly too, because obviously we are renting. We changed the handles on the cabinets, which could easily be changed out when we move out. We put removable wallpaper, which is the subway tile behind the sink and on above all of the cabinets. Put a new rug, all of the like little kind of decor organization items. Our kitchen is kind of skinny and long, so it's hard when we're both in here cooking together or friends are over and we're all cooking. It's like not big enough by any means, but it works for us. And I love that it opens up into this breakfast nook at the end. I DIY'd some watercolor art for this area to kind of pull in the same colors that were in the Target rug, which I absolutely love. It's basically the best thing that Target's ever made. We added a round table to add more synergy and flow into this area because it would have been really uncomfortable to have like an oval shape or a square. So round works best in this area. Found these great colored leather chairs on Wayfair. Not very expensive either, but it was a perfect color to pull from the rug as well. So it kind of all just like flowed together so nicely. So this table is actually from Ikea. I liked the pedestal look but I hated the way that the top of it was wearing because we had it for a while and I was doing DIYs on it and I was messing it up. So I came back in and added a wooden contact paper to the top of it and it's also getting messed up because I still do DIYs here and I still mess it up. Maybe in the future I'll find a really pretty wooden table to go in here. This chandelier I think is also from Ikea but I got it at the Rose Bowl for $12. And I added some floating shelves back here with just some more like kitcheny type of decor and it just finished it all out. So the total cost to redo the kitchen, including the kitchen part and the breakfast nook, including changing all of the hardware too, was $780, which I still think isn't really that bad when you consider it's also kind of like our dining room and then there's furniture involved. So the big purchase in here was the Ikea table and it was $200, but everything else in here was lower than that and actually on a huge budget. So. 
Next up is the bathroom. We have a two bedroom, one bath. So through here, before we get into the bathroom, we have this nice long hallway that you go to the other rooms in the house. And I added my favorite Starburst mirror, really heavy, but I got it from the Rose Bowl and it's so beautiful. And if you guys watched my office makeover, it was originally in there and I found a bookcase that I couldn't live without. So I updated it and put moved it and put it out here. So it's a really pretty area for that and I see it every time I come out of the bedroom. So this is actually my closet. It's a really good size closet. I mean, it holds everything that I need it to hold for sure. For there, it's just, it's just a closet. If you wanna see more of my closet and my life and all of that stuff, you guys should check out the vlogs. I've been vlogging a lot lately and I absolutely love it. I love, like I feel like during this crazy time, it's you guys are my friends and I get to talk to you all the time. So go check out the vlogs. Okay, so now we are in the bathroom, which is the most recent makeover that I've done in the house. And I actually did it twice because the first time around was good, but then it was the first room. So I redid a whole bunch of rooms after that. And then it kind of didn't go and it, this, feels a lot more like me. And I love the way the bathroom came out. I used the same color that you'll see that I used in the office because I had lots of leftover paint. And paint's kind of like the easiest way to really transform a room and make it just feel refreshed and more alive, I guess. I feel like that's the best way to describe the new design. I did some custom artwork in here and I love doing my own artwork because it just makes the space feel more original and more unique. I've got some floating wall shelves up here and I did replace the picture frame that I had here that said bathe and it just didn't really serve a purpose and then I realized, oh, I actually need to know what time it is when I'm in here if I'm getting ready on time. So I replaced it with this clock that my mom actually made me that was in here originally. I've got some, you know, bathroomy type stuff. One of the problems in this room was that it has this long wall on one side and then all of the other stuff, the bathroom stuff, like the bathtub, the toilet, and the sink was all along one wall. So I was like, what do I do with this wall? So I came up with a solution to add a console table, which ideally it would be more like nine inches deep rather than 14 inches deep. Uh, but those are really hard to come by. And I actually don't mind the size that it is. I never feel like it's in my way. I have access to all of my makeup and more toilet paper. It works. And then to even further kind of like fill it out and bring your eye this way, I found these super cool wall hooks from CB2 and they're all different metals. So like silver, gunmetal, black, and it was kind of like working with this whole like mixed metal look that I was going for in here. I bought new globes from Lowe's and spray painted them with like a rich brown color. I found a lot of inspiration pictures where I was really loving that look in bathroom. Rooms. Of course, if you guys want to check out any of the room makeover details and see it all come to life, I will link my playlist with all of the rooms in my house where I made them over so that you guys can watch the transformation and know like the little details about all of the stuff that I put in and all of the DIYs, of course. So the cost to redo my bathroom was $488. And that was including the largest purchase in here, which was the console table, which was from Target, and it was $99. So it was 100 bucks. Not bad. Moving on to the bedroom. I do love our bedroom. The master bedroom has come a long way. We actually had a lot of furniture in here that we did have at other apartments, like a queen size bed versus a king size bed. And she may be little, but she takes up some space. She likes to spread out in bed. So in this room, we didn't paint. We left it the same color that's in the rest of the house, but we did put up some grass cloth inspired removable wallpaper. With grass cloth wallpaper, you can't match up the seams in the wallpaper. So if you guys are wondering why you can still see the seams, it's meant to look PC because grass isn't long. So when you're making a grass inspired cloth, it's doesn't have a continuous line that goes all the way across because that would be like more like stripes. And then I DIY'd all of the artwork in here as well. The large one over my bed. I feel like this art piece is either you love it or you absolutely hate it. I feel like art is meant to evoke a feeling. What I see is just a torn piece of black canvas. A lot of the comments from you guys were saying that it looks like a black hole or <laughs> it looks like all of these scary things and I just don't see it. I've even 
To be honest, I've even contemplated changing it because you guys were kind of indifferent about it. But every time I look at it, I'm like, nope, I love it. It's staying. So I keep coming back to that. So I love that piece. And then I also DIY'd these art pieces on this side. I DIY'd both of the end tables in here. This was kind of my first crack at something like that was woodworking, um, but it was a box. So it was, I made a box. So that was not technically difficult. Did some custom pendant lights in here. And if you guys saw, this was a thrift flip. I found some old Kodak carousels at the thrift store for a dollar and then totally upgraded them and made them look like expensive pendant lights. I felt like a house or your house is never quite perfect, but I wanted to go ahead and do the home tour for you guys. So if you saw in the last video, we did make some of these larger sized pillows, but I only bought two inserts from Ikea. So I have ordered one, they are delivering still. So I'm gonna make another one for the bed. So then I'll have three large, two medium black ones, and then one in the front. I think it'll balance it a lot more. But also something that I've had for a while, for probably about five years too, is our dresser. And it was a big purchase for us when we were at obviously a different apartment. Absolutely loved it. It was from West Elm and it was pricey. And I'll go ahead and tell you, it was the most expensive thing in this room. It was just under $1,000 for the dresser, but it's very good quality. I absolutely love it. I was kind of at that age where I was like over Ikea and I was ready to start making like permanent furniture purchases. That was like the first one. So we got a new rug in here from West Elm. I love getting my rugs from West Elm. A lot of them are from there. There's one place behind me in this room that I want to change. And I never sit at it and there's Tell me why there's four mirrors on it. Like, what? This is like my. Uh, you gotta get angle. every angle, girl. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, this is kind of like my embarrassing corner. Like, let's not look at it anymore because it's making me sad. <laughs> For the total cost of the bedroom, will it be the most expensive? Maybe, maybe not. The total cost of the bedroom was $2,862. Now, keep in mind, the bedroom is where you spend some money because mattresses are expensive, furniture, lots of furniture in it. And like I said, the big purchase in here was the dresser. The mattress in here is a lull mattress and that was $800. So moving right along and our final room is the office. And then we'll talk about the giveaway because that's gonna be very exciting. The office right here. So this room is actually office, guest bedroom, DIY studio and film studio all rolled into one room. One very well designed room, I, I think so myself. So this is the other room that we did paint in this house. It's the same color as the bathroom. This was kind of like speaking to all of my Scandinavian vibes in my design. I love a good basket. I love a good piece of rattan or cane. So I did a beautiful gallery wall above the sofa bed and it is a sofa bed. So it pulls out into a queen size bed. So if we ever have guests, over and then I got this beautiful rug from West Elm that brought in a lot of like darker colors to the room. I found this rattan bookcase at the flea market. I have a place to put all of my like interior design magazines that come in and some of the fabric that I actually use a lot when I'm filming and then some yarn at the bottom because I had no place for my yarn. When I was redesigning this room, I really wanted it to be an office. So I got this beautiful desk from World Market and designed it like a plant and like some baskets above it. And then I have more storage in here with like more fabric and camera equipment. And this is where I keep all of my like larger camera equipment. So like lighting, tripods, diffusers, paper, things like that. And this room is also where I keep all of my DIY supplies. So I have some pegboards in here with like more accessible type of DIYs, like paints or scissors and paint brushes I use a lot. I wanted like a cabinet in here with a lot of drawers to hold like all of the small DIY stuff. It holds like my glue, paint, beads, and jewelry making, and wire, macrame, and pipe cleaners, and office supplies, glitter. I also have this closet that's full of DIY supplies. <laughs> I built this Ikea cabinet that had drawers to hold like my larger scale paint brushes. Also anything and everything else that I need to store. Is this the most expensive or um, was the bedroom? We're about to find out. So it's not including any of my DIY supplies, just the decor that's in here. This room cost $2,307.
dollars and the largest purchase in here was the fold-out couch that one was $795 just for that couch alone if you guys want to see any of these transformations I'll leave that playlist below so that you guys can check out kind of every room what it looked like before stages that it went through so let's do a giveaway I found two more Kodak carousels at the thrift store and I want to give away a complete kit to make all of this so one person will receive a complete kit to do two of these pendant lights so a Kodak carousel all of the wood the stain the Edison bulbs the pendant light itself and the bracket so to enter to win I'll leave all of the details in the description box below but you'll have about a week to enter so it's Sunday today when you're watching this so next Friday April 3rd I will be announcing the winner in my vlog that day at 2 p.m. so if you guys haven't checked out the vlog already head over there check it out it's XO McKenna vlogs and then after I announce it there I'll announce it other places so how to enter make sure that you're subscribed to my channel that you hit the notification bell so you know exactly when I upload every Sunday like this video and comment down below and this is the important part comment down below which room in my house was your favorite you might your favorite makeover and hashtag giveaway and any more details that you need to know I'll list them all below so that you guys can check it out so I hope you guys enjoyed this home tour so again like and comment below hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to my channel and I will see you guys next Sunday bye guys she is out. Look at her. She is mm -hmm. out. Cool. Out, girl. Kodak Carousel. Kodak Carousel. Two. Carousel. Yeah. <laughs> High five. High five. Oh, good.